Hello everyone, welcome to my channel. Today I'm going to talk about reactive programming. So I'm going to create a series of videos where I'll be talking about reactive programming and its core concepts. So I hope you have heard about reactive programming and you are curious to learn about this. So let's start. So what is reactive programming? So according to Wikipedia, reactive programming is an asynchronous programming paradigm concerned with data streams and the propagation of change. This means that it becomes possible to express static or dynamic data streams with ease via employed programming languages. Let me break down this definition for you. So basically, reactive programming is a new programming paradigm where data flow as an event-driven stream. Reactive programming is fundamentally asynchronous and non-blocking. Reactive programming also provides back pressure on data streams. That means you can put a back pressure or limit on the incoming data flow. Reactive programming provides functional style APIs similar to Java 8 stream APIs. So don't worry if you don't get your head around this. I am going to talk about all these points in much details in my later videos. So let's move forward. So the next question is why do we need reactive programming? What problem does it solve? So the simple answer would be reactive programming provides smooth user experience. It keeps the main thread free. It does all the heavy, complex and time consuming work in the background. It make your application more responsive. It also provides back pressure on data streams. And using reactive programming, you can end up writing more cleaner and readable code base. So let me tell you what topics I'm going to cover in this tutorial series. So the topics I'm going to cover in this tutorial series would be introduction to reactive programming, why reactive programming, I will also talk about how reactive programming works. I'll be showing one comparison between reactive REST APIs and traditional REST APIs. We will be building reactive REST APIs using Spring Web Flux. And we will also touch base web client and web test client while building this reactive REST APIs. So thank you for watching this video. If you want to learn reactive programming, so this is going to be a great tutorial series for you. So stay tuned and also subscribe to my channel. If you like this video, please hit the like button. Thank you for watching.